All right, here we go. 1964 Chevelle Super Sport. All original. Even the little 283 there. It actually runs pretty decent. Um, just don't really got any power. Kind of really slow. Probably puts out about 150 horsepower. Maybe on his best day I could get it to about maybe 180 or 220 or whatever. Start try it up. Runs pretty decent. Alright. So what I'm doing. Take a look at the crowded garage. Got an El Camino in there with the 427. That's a de-stroked 454. Um, originally, I built it for a 71 Monte Carlo, but I ended up sticking the uh, factory block back in it and sold it. Another engine, 305. Might go to the scrap car pretty soon. Here I am working out of the back in the backyard. Too much, not no room in the front. Okay, there's a intake that was slightly used. I just painted orange. Um, as you can see, I got there's the heads off the 305. There's uh, a 350 block with camel humps. Got some orange valve covers. Got uh, some of them um, L98 heads, aluminum, with the uh, deep ports on them. So anyways, this is what uh, this is all about. Okay, right here, that is a 307 crankshaft. You could check that number on it. Um... This is a, a 350 block. Let's see if I can get you some more numbers here. Uh, famous 39710 block. No big deal. Four bolt main. Went with the APR bolts in it. I was, when I bought this block, see, I paid a hundred bucks for it. The crank, I had it out of another engine that I ended up scrapping the block. It was a 307. I sold the heads. A guy put him on a 350, and he said it, he was really happy with it. He said it really had a lot of torque. So you could light up the tires pretty good in it. I never actually seen it run. I just heard stories about it. Um, so what I did is I um, put the uh, shorter crank in it. This crank has a, uh, a 3.25 stroke in it instead of the 350, which is a 3.48. And... These are the rods and, and uh, out of the uh, 307. What I did was I, I weighed the, uh, the rods, the pistons, the, the complete assembly, and I was just a little bit over. So I thought, oh, shit, now I got to get this thing balanced. Well, you can see where the material was removed from the bottom of the, uh, the rod cap there. And there was also some material removed from up top there. There's a bunch of pistons. I usually uh, remove the pistons from the rods myself. It really don't help because when you take them in the machine shop, they still charge you the same thing. But at least I have the opportunity to weigh them. So basically what we got here. 350 block, de-stroked, 327 pistons, 30 over, aluminum heads, um, V12 
58 cc chambers. What that should bring me is close to 10 to 1 compression, uh, depending on which head gasket I put on there. If I go with like maybe a 25 or 025 or something around there, I should be able to hit my mark. Um, for me, the advantage of going this route on it is a little bit better fuel economy and a little bit more power. I mean, not as opposed to the fuel economy that I would get with the 283 because it was actually getting about 15 miles to the gallon, which was good. I haven't finished torquing that uh, crank down yet, as you can see. Um, but anyways, I just thought that anybody interested in doing something like this, know it can be done, knowing that the parts are interchangeable. If you look up that block casting number, um, it will tell you that it's also used in uh, like a 68, 69 Camaro or whatever with the 327 in it with the large journal. And uh, those particular heads, they should have the same geometry. Like when I put the intake on it, the intake bolts will, are the same as, that's one of the reasons why I went with it, as say the, the camel hump heads, except for camel hump heads got a 64 cc chamber in it, which is perfect for a 350, you know. I, I believe they're the same as the Vortec. Vortec, of course, will give you more power, but I paid 100 bucks for those heads. I'm not really uh, building uh, race cars. I've actually never driven any of my cars on the track. A um, little bit of street racing, which is a lot of fun. Usually can give those little tuners a run for their money, but uh, this right here is not necessarily about building horsepower because... That block over there is actually going to most likely outdo this one. And I'm still considering installing that one instead of this one. You know, just that I had uh, that block right there that was given to me. So that's a free block. The crank was a uh, free crank. Heads, like I said, I paid 100 bucks. I don't know, probably a couple hundred to get them machined. Um... So, just trying to consolidate all the junk that I got in my garage so I can maybe get some breathing room in there. But uh, at the same time, I'm going to be able to stick something in my uh, Chevelle that'll maybe um, put a little bigger smile on my face. So, all right, there you go.